other students to come to our for the third class of 23. Right. So what we have seen in the last class? In the last class we have seen the exercise problem of 7 a Okay. So in today's class we are going to discuss now some of the other type of examples other than the problems which we discussed and we have an exercise and that then we can stop the chapter of what you mean complete the unit and that can go for the next chapter. Let me see that what is the variety of problems we are getting, the conversions what you need to learn. Whenever you get fraction, how to do a problem, we will be doing So we have taken an example of five first. So what we have here, the cost of 8.15 of a certain cargo is rupees 2000. So we have two parameters here. One is cargo, okay. The other one is cost. I am doing all the problems in analytical only. So it's very easy and you might want to learn that. So the cost of 8 by 15 of a certain car, so 8 by 15 of a car is how much? Rupees 2000. Right. Find the cost of 3 by 5. Find the cost of 3 by 5 of the same car. So we don't know this. Now to find whether which is it is an inverse variation or direct variation. How to do? We should know which is greater numbers in 8 by 15 and 3 by 5. Then only we can find it out. So in this case, just find out 8 by 15, right? Just divide it. 8 is a smaller number. I will 0. Okay. 15 by 7, 75. 5 carry, 0. 8 3 is a 45. So it will be keep on going. So this value I have got a 0 0.5333 I will get. So next number I have 3 by 3. So 3, 8, 0 0.0. So 5, 6 are 30. See, this is 0 0.6. 3 by 5 I have got a 0 0.6. 8 by 3 I have got a 0 0.5. Now which is a greater Obviously, 0 0.6 is greater than this. So, it is increasing in this way. Right. So, for 8 by 15 clock, costing 2000 means, obviously, for 3 by 5 clock, it will be more than 2000. So, it is an example of what you mean by direct variation. Now, direct variation is you already know how to take that. It is x by 2000 is equal. So, this we have to write. 3 by 5 is divided by 8 by 15. This is correct. Now, how do we take x value? So, x is equal to, so now see here, we have 3 by 5. This, if it goes to the letter 8 by 15, it becomes 15 by 8 into 2000. 2000. You know the x value, the point cross multiply. When you cross multiply, you get the same. That is, Thus, now anything to be cancelled, yes, we can find one side, find three side. Correct. From 8 we can do, yes, 8 one side, 8 two side, 16, okay, 4 remainder, 8 five side, 40, and it is 2 to 3. So anything here can be cancelled, no. So the three is on how much? 9. So here 2 to 3 we have got. Okay, 4 to 3 is 12. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. 4 to 3 is 9. 4 to 3 is 9. Game 42 seconds in 3 days and 
eight hours, three days and eight hours. So let us take gaining time. Gaining time versus hours. Now how many hours? Okay. We want change forty two seconds. How much? Forty two seconds. In three days and eight hours. In three days and eight hours means there are how many hours? So one day is twenty four hours. So twenty four into three. Three into six plus one seven. Seven into two plus how many hours? Plus eight. So this total eight hours. It is forty two seconds. It is getting increasing. Eighty hours. How long will it take to gain two minutes six seconds? Two minutes six seconds means how many? Now, 
base collision difference. So this is an example for inverse variation. When you are taking an inverse variation, take first x by d is equal to this you will not take, you will take 45 by 24 greater numbers. 45 by 24. That is what this arrow mark will indicate. Cross multiply 24 into x is equal to 45 into 8. So x is equal to 45 into 8 by 24. So 8 ones are 8 threes are. Correct, yeah. 3 ones are 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 15. So x is equal to 15 days. How many days? 15 days. So 45 horses was eating 135 kg of company 8 days. How many days 24 horses can eat? They can eat for 15 days. Understand how to do this? Problem. Very much important. Now let us enter exercise MMP. I will be doing along with this two more problems. Rest of the problems you can try by yourself. There is only five to six problems has been given. Okay, let me explain you this. Three one by two liter of flour cost rupees one sixty eight. Okay, flour and you can take cost. Okay, what is flour is? 3 1 by 2 meter, 3 1 by 2 meter can be written as 3 plus 6 plus 1 7, that is 7 by 2 meter of top cost how much? Rupees 168. Correct. Find the cost of 4 1 by 3 meter. 4 1 by 3 means 4 plus 1 by 3 meter. We need to find the cost. Now you only imagine. Among 7 by 2, 13 by 2, which is greater? Obviously, 13 by 3 is greater. The reason is it is 4 1 by 3. This is 3 1 by 3. So, cross is increasing. So, 7 by 2 meter is rupees 168. If cross increases, what about the cost? Cost also increases. So, this is an example for direct variation. So, it is x by, x by 168 is equal to this you have to write this 13 by 3 divided by 7 by 2. Understand? Now, what you have to do is cross multiply it will become 2 by 7 into x is equal to 13 by 3 into 168. Understand? Now, if you want x value, 7 by 2 will come to the denominator. Then you can write it as 2 by 7 and you multiply. So, it is 30 by 3 into 168 into this is 2 by 7. Okay. Yeah, you can cancel like this. 7 ones are 7 twos are 14. Correct. 2 remainder. Uh, 7 ones are 28. Uh, 3 ones are 3 eights are 24. Then you can cancel now. 8 to the 16. 16 into 30. So x is equal to 16 into 30. So how much is she into 30? This is 80. Carry on 3 into 3 plus 1 4. Right? 6 and 4. Okay, once again. 4, okay. Then 1 6 and 6. So x is equal to so how much? Rupees? 200. So we 
given that are given 3 by 5 kg of k is how much rupees 96 first one how to identify we need to find out 1 kg p 1 kg p how much now 3 by 5 is greater or 1 is greater obviously 1 Because 3 by 5 will be divided this way. Already I have done this by 6 is 30. So it is 0.6. 0.6. 1 is greater than 0.6. So obviously, what happens with increasing kg, cost of the g also will increase. Let us find out how much it is. So now it is x by 96 will be equal to. So it's 1 by 3 by 5. So if you cross multiply, you will get. So we will get here. So when you cross multiply, you will get 3 by 5 into x is equal to 96 into 1. Okay. Then x is equal to 96 divided by 3 by 5. When it goes to numerator, it will becomes 96 into 5 by 3. This is how it works in maths. Now, 3 ones are 3, 3 is a 9, 3 twos are. So x is equal to 32 into 5 by 10. One, I guess 16. So rupees 160. How much one kg of ghee? One kg of ghee is rupees one hundred and six. So first one we need. Now we have second one. Try by eight kg of ghee. So we need to do one more. So again we number three kg. Among the among the ghee we need number three kg. Among the ghee. Among the ghee. So we need to take for three by eight kg. It is rupees ninety six. But what about for five by eight kg? For five by eight kg, we don't. Now we need to find three by five is greater than five by eight. Three by five we already know is point six. Let us go for five by eight.
I will be doing all the board district division in Pompidou. You don't have any what? Any use by that. So please do do that yourself. If you have any doubts, you can comment me before I will solve it again in the online class. Okay? Okay, from the next class we